you're playing a competitive game at 60 hertz and that too with 60 fps capped and on top of that you have a relatively good gpu there's a special place in hell for people like you luckily i have just the thing for you this is the lazy reviewers and this is my in-depth look at the zentech z2161m as always all the timestamps will be in the description box below and if you're looking for something specific that will help you out Let's start by taking a look at the box and the packaging materials first. The monitor comes in this pretty lightweight, pretty average cardboard box. Nothing fancy here. We do have the Zentech branding up front along with a few key features of the monitor, mainly the 165Hz refresh rate and the 1ms response time. Opening the box, we have our monitor up top, a power supply, a display port cable and the manual. The foam used here is pretty average, it is thick so that's a good sign of your monitor surviving the horrors of shipping. Next let's set up the monitor and see what we're working with here. I'm not gonna bore you with a lot of technical details, just a bit that you need to know to make your decision of buying this monitor or not. The stand comes pretty much pre-mounted and all you need to do is screw in these three black screws and you're pretty much ready to go. The stand does allow you to tilt it back and forth, but there is no swivel, rotation or height adjustment. The monitor does have VESA 100 compatibility, uh, so you can just always hook it up to a monitor arm and have all the adjustability you'll ever need. We have a set of buttons at the bottom of the monitor with each labeled as what they do on the back. Taking a look at the I.O., we have HDMI and DisplayPort. The monitor does have its own power cable and there are no built-in speakers. Enough talk, now let's get it hooked up to something that can push that 165Hz. I will be using my 15 inch Omen and it has a mobile 1060 GPU. Should be more than enough to run all the competitive games at more than 165fps. Let's see how the monitor performs and then we can get into what makes it what it is and what you may or may not be looking for. Firstly, the UFO test. The display is crisp, clear and recording using slow motion, you can see there's basically no ghosting or artifacting. Next, I think we should show off probably the best up and rising FPS game, Valorant. I have played this game before on a 60Hz monitor, but damn, this smoothness. Definitely would help you get an edge on someone not using a high refresh rate monitor. Moving on to Dota, here in MOBA games like Dota or League of Legends, 1ms response time and low input lag can really help you see the attack animations faster and react properly, again for their competitive edge. I can already hear most of the backseat gamers saying, the human eye can only see 60 hertz more ass. Well, that's from the science of yester century, there's a reason why all the major brands are spending millions in R&D just to get the fastest refresh rate possible. A detailed explanation of what the human eye can or cannot see could be a future video, but no promises. The colors are above average for a TN panel, even though you couldn't pay me to edit pictures or videos on the screen. I will be making a short video soon on how to make the colors better on this display. The screen is 1080p, but at 24 inches the individual pixels aren't noticeable at all until you are within 5 to 6 inches of the screen. Besides, there is no practical use of having a high resolution screen at this size, it barely makes a difference even at 27 inches. Lastly, let's talk about price and availability. Uh, this monitor comes in at only 36,000 Pakistani rupees with features like a 1 millisecond response time and 165Hz and FreeSync. If performance is all you care about, this is the perfect buy for you. There are other options like a used Asus 248QE and a ViewSonic 2458MHD, but uh, those come in at a little over 35,000. If 36,000 is all you have for a display and you don't want to spend anything more, for example to pair with an older Omen like this or a mid-range PC, this would be a steal for you. Well, that's all we have for you today, like the video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more to the point unboxings, reviews and much more.